Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPS and Fast Films. This short video, I want to talk to you about a new feature in TCEPS 2.0. It is registration marks. You know, you can print separations out of Photoshop, but the registration targets are fairly small. In fact, in Photoshop CS5 that I'm in right now, Photoshop did do one change that is not great. If you go to CS5 and go to print, they remove the screen button from CS5. And those of you that have TCEPs or fast films now know that the screen button allows you to tell Photoshop the halftone line count, the angle, and the dot shape. They remove that, and Photoshop's thinking is that you should be printing out of Illustrator or other programs rather than Photoshop. And this is definitely a flaw in their thinking. Uh, but regardless of that, in any version of Photoshop, you can tell at the print registration mark. But they're very small. And when you burn screens and try and line them up or press, they're pretty small. My new feature allows you to add your own marks, and you get three choices, small, medium, and large. Small is one quarter of an inch, medium is one half inch, and large is huge at one inch. Now, these sizes are based on your file being 300 dpi, so you should check your file size and upsample the file to 300 dpi keeping it physically the same size. You can make it bigger if you want. The problem is, is that if you add the targets at a lower resolution, the actual targets will be pretty rough. And even at 300 dpi, they're not going to be real clean. And that's because Photoshop, if you print out of a rip in Photoshop, the rip will print out the targets at the resolution of the printer. Here we're actually adding our targets to our file. Now the other problem we have is for a file like this, there's not much canvas. There's no area around the image. There's not much area to place a target. TSEPS places targets in the four corners of the artwork and there's just not much room to do that. So I have a feature built in that is increase canvas size. You click on this, it tells you that it will increase the canvas size, not the image size, but the canvas size by 12%. And there we've increased the canvas size, and now we have room to place the target in the corners. Now we just simply click a button, and TSEPS tells you it's going to place a half inch medium target in the four corners and it'll cook and then it says to choose the channels that want the targets. You don't want to place targets on the RGB, you don't have to do it there and it does make a new temporary channel called registration marks. So if you press continue, press stop and now hold down the, sh the click on a channel, hold down the shift key and select all channels that need targets. Do not select the registration mark channel, and don't select the shirt color, don't select the RGB. Your button will have turned red, and if you have fast films or TCEPs now, you know that if a button's red, you're in the middle of a routine. But the last help menu said, once you've selected your channels, click on the button again, and it finishes the feature. Now, if you look in the corner, you can see the targets. Now, they're going to be a little weird because, remember, we're displaying the image in color, and we're displaying all the channels right now with the eyes on all the channels. If I take the eyes off the channels, there's my underbase. And if I look at every channel by itself, you'll see targets in the corners. That's how simple it is to add registration marks to your separated files in Photoshop with TCEPs.